Welcome to PreciousMetalConverter.com. On this video, we're going to uh, help you guys determine the purity of your gold items. Okay, we have a few tools here to help us uh, determine that. We have a magnet here. Your gold item should not be magnetic. Magnifying glass or a loop to help you identify for uh, any markings that will be on your uh, items. A file to help you file into the item if you're not sure if it's 100% uh, gold or if it's just plated. And then you have your acids here. You have your different carrot acids which we'll be using on the, uh, the following items here. This ring right here is marked 10 carat. Okay, so until otherwise, we'll assume it's 10 carat. This one's marked 14, and these are marked inside. This one's marked in the uh, inside as well as this one. Most of your uh, your rings will be marked on the inside of uh, uh, the item. This here is just a, a small gold piece um, from 1851. It's 90% uh, gold, and uh, this is marked 0.925 14PL. So I know this is a, actually silver, uh, but it is plated in 14 karat gold. And as far as the value, you just value this as a, as a silver piece. Okay, now let's, uh, you know, using the acids test to see if we can, you know, figure out the purity of uh, each one of these items. Now this was marked 10, so what I'm going to do here with the test stone is just rub some of the uh, metal on the stone here. I'm going to, for this item, I'm going to make three different lines here to demonstrate something for you guys here. All right, this was the one that was marked 14. Put that nice line there for that one. This one. Like I said, it's very small and difficult to get, but it's 90% uh, gold. And this one was the 14 carat plated. All right. So let's bring this up here and use a 10 carat acid on the first line. What you're looking for is for the line to actually stay there and stay uh, the same color, which is happening. So it looks good for uh, 10 carat. Now let's skip over to this line, which was marked 14, and using 14 carat acid, a little bit of drop on there and see what happens here. That's staying. Now this is 90% uh, gold, so I'm going to use the 18 carat on that, 0 0.75, 75%. 75%. See what happens there. You can see all those lines are staying just as they should be, so they're all testing out well. Let's look at this last item here. I'm going to use the 14 carat acid. That was marked 14 PL, but also 0.925. Okay, and you can see here the outer, since we only really scratched the outer layer here um, of this item, and it is plated, the line is staying there. So you got to be careful with the, the plated items. Now, if you take this item and file into a little bit, you will notice that, uh, let's see here, there you go. The inside is actually silver. 
So you, you just want to be careful with your plated items. Make sure you file into them. Let's return back to this uh, first item. The 10 carat. We put the 10 carat acid on this particular line. It stayed. Just want to show you what happens when you put the different uh, carat acids. Okay, let's put 14 on a 10 carat line. You can see how it's not as strong and kind of fading. Let's jump up to uh, 18 carat acid here. See what happens on the third line there. And you can see how quickly that just fades away. The 10 carat ring, we put 10 carat acid, looks good. We use 14, you can see it faded, and with the 18, it faded right away. Well, thanks for vi visiting us at uh, PreciousMetalConverter.com. Uh, check us out for uh, some more videos on uh, you know how to determine uh, the purity of your items and uh, the approximate value. Thanks very much.